the cuff, let's go! Okay, hey everyone, it's Crystal, and I know I am super late on my April What the Heck Did I Read, but, you know, honestly, I'm just gonna not apologize, and I could care less. I just had so many good books that I've been sucked into that I haven't been able to stop myself long enough to video. And right now, I am filming on my phone in front of my entertainment center. I know it's really awkward, but I wanted to get this up because I know it's really, really late. So, I read seven books last month, and half of them are digital, half of them are paper. I'm gonna do this completely quick, no edits, no cuts, let's run through this. Hold on one second. First book that I read, The Selection. Fabulous book. I like it so much that I had to complete the entire series within a week, but this is the only one that happened to finish in the month of April, so we are going to go with it. Check out Carrie Ka or yeah, Kira. Kira Cass. Um, fabulous quick read, sweet, innocent. I'm probably going to do a Facebook live chat when I find time to, about, to talk about the whole series. So keep up with me on my Facebook group and we'll be able to chit chat about this series. Ugh, it's just, it's so sweet and innocent and loving. I just love it. Okay, moving on. Not a lot of time, let's run through this. Red Queen, good book. Um, I liked the two different factions of the White Bloods and the Red Bloods. Red Bloods are normal people, you and I. Um, White Bloods are more, I'd say, they say God, I'd say more mutant. Um, special powers, more elite class, they happen to be the ruling class. One of the Red Bloods happens to find herself all of a sudden surrounded by the White Blood. She's working for them, and something happens. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's a big deal. And all of a sudden now she's trying to integrate in the White Blood world, trying to hide that she's a Red Blood. It's fabulous. Um, this is book one. Book two just came out. I haven't grabbed it yet, so I will let you know as soon as I read it. Next book. Darkest Part of the Forest. Love it. Have a whole video on this. Not going to say much. Check it out. Another one. Um, Ink and Bone. I loved it so much. It took me a little bit to get used to reading about a book, about books, but it's super fun. It's what would have happened if the Library of Alexandria had not burned down, and you get to see how it's basically taken over almost like the um, organized religions nowadays, where you are able to go to school for them, and they have jobs within them, and the home base obviously is in Alexandria, but how the religion of the library essentially has um, morphed what could have potentially been our future had the library not burned down. Really interesting read. This one did end on a cliffhanger, and so I don't have the second book. I don't even think the second book's out yet, but I'll definitely be checking it out, and I'll let you guys know. And then the last three books that I read, one, two, three, one, two, three, I had all of them up, um, were, there was Ghost Story, and that one was by what brain fart um jim butcher it is the 13th book in his series and it's a harry dresden book so harry dresden oh, it's so hard when you're talking about a 13th book in a series but he is a wizard and he is one of the only ones that's a wizard for hire you can find him in the yellow pages if you know what the yellow pages still are that tells you how old the books are um but something happens it's amazing check it out if you like harry dresden you know you're gonna like this. So read it, it's good. Another one that I read was Shadow Spell by Nora Roberts. It is the second one in her Cousin O'Dwyer series. It is one of her formulaic romance books. Um, this one happens to be about magic. I plan on doing a whole video about the series when I wrap it up. I just need to finish book three and then I'll talk about it more. But if you like Nora Roberts, it's a good series. And then the last one that I read was Artemis Fowl. Now this is the first book that I've actually borrowed from the library. What? I gave back a book? Well, I had it in digital, so it wasn't as bad, 
but it is definitely a mid-grade book. Real quick read, lots of fun, lots of action. Artemis Fowl happens to be a rich kid who's pretty much on his own. Dad's not there. Mom's not doing so well. And so he's running the family household and he's trying to find a way to gain more money. And one way that he did that is by trying to get the leprechaun's pot of gold. So I'm going to leave you to read the story, but it's a lot of fun. Check it out. And that's it. Real quick, I didn't want to do any edits because I don't know where half of my technology is. It disappeared, but I wanted to post this as soon as I could. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I missed you, and I plan on posting a lot more as soon as I find all my stuff. So again, follow me on Facebook. I know I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live on the selection series as well as I do just randoms. So follow me on Facebook at Digital and Bellum. Of course, there's Goodreads, Snapchat, Twitter, all the fun stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. <laughs>